Good evening aspirants welcome to the weekly capsules of international affairs by Shankar AIS Academy today we are starting with the first capsule the weekly capsules will be explained by Shri TP Srinivasan sir who is a former ambassador of India and former permanent representative of India to the United Nations Vienna sir has also served as the governor for India at the International Atomic Energy Agency he has served in the Indian Foreign Service for more than 35 years He has represented India at a number of international conferences organized by international organizations to name a few the United Nations the Commonwealth the non-aligned movement one of his important postings is that he served as the deputy chief of mission of the embassy of India Washington Indian Ministry of External Affairs hails his tenure as a highly successful tenure during which there was remarkable improvement in India United States relations He is also a former member of National Security Advisory Board of Government of India. He is an expert columnist at renowned newspapers and journals. Some of his important works include More Diplomacy, recently published, then Encounters, then Applied Diplomacy through the Prism of Mythology, then other works such as Mattering to India, the Shashi Tharoor campaign. Now, Shankar AIS Academy is happy to launch this weekly capsule on international affairs for the benefit of aspirants. The capsule will be helpful for civil service examination, for mains examination and also for the interview. We advise and suggest the aspirants to utilize the classes and to share the classes to those who are in need of such resources. Now let's begin the session today. First civil service international affairs capsule for Shankar IAS Academy. The topic today is the American initiative on tibet the background is tibet has always been an autonomous province of china but in 1950 to 59 the chinese wanted to completely take over tibet and in 1959 the tibetan dalai lama who is also the ruler of tibet had to run away from tibet to save himself he arrived on the indian border and requested for asylum in india india gave him asylum to him and his people and they have been living in india for a long time but we have not allowed the dalai lama to engage in any political activities in india so for all his political activities he needs to go abroad while in india he runs his uh, spiritual activities only even then there were some tensions between india and china on this account and that resulted in the 1962 war with china and at the moment there is a second crisis as serious as the 1962 crisis and therefore there is tension between india and china and china is in fact is occupying additional space on the on the indian side of the line of actual control so at this particular situation where is the tension between india and china the united states that is president trump decided to do something which is supportive of india to create some issues for china in tibet this is what is called the playing of the china card by the united states The United States has always been sympathetic to the Dalai Lama but they did not take any action to provoke China just as we did not This time what happened was in on December 27th 2020 President Trump signed a, a signed an appropriation act for the whole budget of the US government and there was an anxiety that he was not signing and uh, the government might have to stop but anyway it was signed and when this appropriation act came out it happened that it also contained what's called tibetan policy and support act of 2020 there has also been earlier a tibetan support act to provide some funding for tibetan refugees abroad for the dalai lama sub keep and also certain scholarship activities etc for the tibetans but this time 
they introduced two or three, three elements in this Tibet Act. First is that United States wants to open a consulate general in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. This is not permitted because the Chinese do not want any diplomatic missions there. So they have said for the first time that unless they are given the opportunity to um, appoint a consul general in Lhasa, China will not be allowed to open any new consulates in India, in, in the United States. So this is a new move. Secondly, since the Dalai Lama is getting old, there have been rumors about his successor. The situation in the Tibet, in Tibet is, the, his successor will be a baby who is born after the Dalai Lama passes away. And then that baby is located by the Lamas and then he grows up into the next Dalai Lama, the 15th Dalai Lama. So where this child will be born and who will identify it, who will verify that this is the real Dalai Lama, etc. are all open. So the, the Chinese have been wanting the new Dalai Lama to be under their control. And that is the reason why recently China has been making more noises about the, um, the situation in Arunachal Pradesh. Because they think that if the new Dalai Lama is identified, this baby is identified in India, that will cause problem for the Chinese. So on this also, United States, States has taken a tough position. United States has said that the new Dalai Lama should be selected, identified only by the Lamas. And no other country should interfere in this matter. And this has caused some concern in China because they have been planning somehow to manipulate this. And they also say that if there is any Chinese official who accepts or who enables any, any kind of manipulation in the choice of the new Dalai Lama, they will also be sanctioned. So it's punishment will be given to those Chinese officials who get involved in this. So these two new aspects they have, they have put forward as the conditions for um, better relationship with uh, the United States. But this is a problem because President Trump had taken a very tough position on, on China. But the new president, the president-elect president, president -elect Joe Biden has been thinking and talking about having a better relationship with China. So it is at this point that these tough measures have been taken by the US government. And that will be an impediment for US to improve relations with China at this point. The bill also provides certain amount of money. It's not a huge amount of money. That um, the, there is a million dollars for scholarship for Tibetans. Six million dollars for Tibetan refugees in India. Three million dollars for Tibetan governance. And eight million dollars for Tibetan autonomous region. That is the region which China is occupying. All these may not be spent at all. Because, for example, the autonomous region, China is not going to accept that. Tibetan government governance, who will it keep? So mostly this money will go to the Dalai Lama's establishment in India. So this funding is also an issue as far as China is concerned. So this is why we are saying that United States is playing what is called the Tibet card against China to embarrass them on these issues, showing that the relationship with China, US-China US relations are deteriorating. The president also had also appointed in last October a new representative for Tibet, whom China does not recognize. So this initiative by uh, the uh, United States is helpful to India in the sense that we have very major interest in what they are talking about, particularly the success, successor issue, who will be the next Dalai Lama. But the situation is such that India 
has not been taking any such position. Because our policy, as I explained earlier, is for the Dalai Lama to be, to be living here as a refugee, as a most revered leader of, a, of Buddhism. And about his return to Tibet or on the successor, etc., we do not take official positions. In fact, recently, to improve our relations with, uh, uh, with China, after Prime Minister's Wuhan visit, we had even stopped celebrating various events relating to Dalai Lama, or at least officially we have not been participating in any of the uh, celebrations relating to the Dalai Lama. So on the one side, this is something good for us in the sense that the United States is tightening its position on China. And they are doing these things after a long time in order to put pressure on China to liberate Tibet. The situation is that we, India have, did not have a common border with China till Tibet became part of, part of China. So this is a sensitive issue. And what we have done in Ladakh and other things have irritated the Chinese. And that is probably the reason why China you know, mounted this aggression uh, last year in, in March. And though they are talking about disengagement, that they will withdraw and we will withdraw, etc., but nobody has withdrawn. The crisis is because China is demanding that if they are to withdraw from the territory they have occupied now, India must also withdraw from the Kailash range, which we occupied after this incident, but it is on the side of India, on India's side. So how can they ask India to withdraw from territories belonging to India? So there is a complete impasse in the situation. The, our Home Minister has recently said that even though we have had many negotiations, agreement on withdrawal of troops, no disengagement has taken place on the side of China. We are doing several things in order to meet this threat. First of all, we have agreed to negotiations. There have been several agreements. Secondly, we are strengthening our own defense forces. We have got the Rafale aircraft. We have got other missiles, etc., from other countries. In case there is a need, if there is a war, we are getting prepared for that. And also, we are seeking support of the international com community to stop China from uh, starting a war with India. And on the third issue, the thing that we are doing at the moment is to basically uh, reduce our dependence on China by, uh, you know, we, we um, cancel some um, programs, some uh, apps, which uh, cost a lot of loss to China. Uh, we have reduced Chinese investment in India, and we have also uh, try to regulate our trade with China. But we have found that all these are very difficult to do. And it is in this situation that uh, US has taken this action, which is in support of India. But at the same time, they are showing, they are also showing their muscles as it were, that they have the possibility of causing problems for China by engaging in Tibet. I myself feel that there will be no immediate impact of all this on China. Of course, in China, US relations, it will have an impact because China has already said that this is an uh, interference in the internal affairs of China. As you know, internal affairs, nobody is supposed to intervene according to the UN Charter. So, and the United States has in fact recognized Tibet as an autonomous part of China. So anything that the United States wants to try in Tibet will be resisted by China. And therefore, this particular action is more symbolic than real. Symbolic for the United States, showing that they are not pleased with China. And symbolic for us, that the United States taken, has taken a very open position on the Dalai Lama and China. In fact, 
in 1996, 97, etc. When India's relations with China improved, many political forces in the United States, when our situation, our relationship with the US improved, many people said that part of the reason why the US, in spite of the old Cold War problems, became friendly to India because India has shown this great kindness to the Dalai Lama whom they respect. So Dalai Lama is a link between India and the United States because he has large followers, not only in the United States, but also in Europe. And he has political support. So that support has been strengthened, which makes China nervous about what will happen in the case of Tibet. And particularly what happens if the new Dalai Lama is born in a part of India or a part where China has no, no access. So this is the situation which has emerged. India is not likely to take any action on this because we have refrained from interfering in the internal affairs of China. We have always maintained that the Dalai Lama is in India as an honored guest. We had to, to save his life and therefore we have taken him and therefore we do not consider him to be uh, the ruler of Tibet in exile. That is what he wanted. In fact, he was not very pleased when he was told that he will not be allowed any political activity on the Indian soil. But he accepted it. Since 1959, he has lived in this country. The, uh, the, his, the, the Tibetan population has multiplied. All of them have Indian nationality with a Tibetan mark on it so that they can travel. So all facilities have been given to them. But politically, we have been keeping some distance from the Dalai Lama's cause. So by playing the China, Tibet card, as it were, with China, the United States is actually encouraging India to use the case of the Dalai Lama, or again, asking India to play the Dalai Lama card, as it were. But in the present situation, India is not likely to take any action which will show that uh, we are supporting the American initiative. But we can certainly be happy that the US has taken this action, which supports the Indian position on China. And this may act as a kind of pressure on China not to aggravate the situation on the India-China border. Why China created this situation at this time at a grave, when a grave crisis is facing the entire world, the humanity itself, because of COVID is unknown. But what they are probably doing is they are trying to take the leadership of the world, which has always been their ambition, using the present situation where the United States is getting weaker and weaker. So their idea is that there would be a vacuum in the power structure of the world with the United States weakening, particularly because of the coronavirus, and they could step in. Therefore, they have been flexing their muscles. China has been flexing their muscles, not only on the India-China border, but also in, the, in Taiwan, in Hong Kong, in the South China Sea, and even in, against some Southeast Asian countries. So that, that goes on. On the one hand, they have survived the COVID fairly well, and now they are taking a very expansionist position. So what the United States has done has to be seen in this context as another measure of hostility to uh, China. And um, the fact that Tibet has been brought into it is also a good gesture for us. So this whole incident has a, has a, has a great political value as far as India is concerned. But as I said earlier, the situation is that once he takes over as president, Joe Biden has intention to normalize relations with China. So one of the first things that he will be asked to do is to withdraw this act because this is, involves interference in the internal affairs of China. So there could be a friction point for the United States and China on this account. As far as India is concerned, we are continuing our efforts to 
peacefully end the crisis and also to um, to negotiate the disengagement from the areas with uh, uh, with which china has uh, occupied from your examination point of view whether it is at the preliminary stage or at the main stage or at the interview stage it is good for you to know the background of the tibetan issue how dalai lama came to india how we have received him here he has always wanted to um, go back with his people that has not happened but interestingly recently the dalai lama made two points one he said we should not attach too much importance to reincarnation of the dalai lama this i think he said to reduce the pressure on the succession issue he said that buddha himself was not reincarnated there are many scholars many lamas who are not born again so he is saying that what we need is peace in tibet and not necessarily an insistence on either one or the other being uh, the uh, dalai lama the second thing he said was he is no more interested in tibetan independence which he has been working for many years and therefore what we what he wants is peace for the people of china people of tibet peace in tibet itself with some understanding with china and therefore his movement now is not a struggle for independence but for the happiness of the people of tibet so therefore the insistence that india or united states is making on these issues dalai lama himself sees some danger and he is not likely to push for it so this is something that we have to watch how the situation develops how the dalai lama will uh, use the american support in order to advance his political uh, future or will he rest, try to restrain the united states and india from taking such action so that tibetans can live in peace so this is an important development which you should follow and uh, uh, prepare yourself on the background of the tibetan crisis the implications of the us act and also india's own situation in the new context where the united states has heightened its position or tried to uh, create the situation more serious for china in tibet so these are grave political implications for india china relations thank you very much